Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Alasco, talking about emotional bullshit. In a second, I'm going to be talking to Jeff. Jeff has a problem because his life is full and he has a complicated past and he has a very, very good friend in his life and he doesn't really know how to take care of his core needs and it's creating him a tremendous amount of stress. What is a core need? A core need is any behavior or attitude that advances your long-term best interest. That's not something we do automatically. We don't look at our long-term best interest and take care of it automatically. We let everything, short-term gain, short-term gain, all these kind of things get in the way just to kind of get through the day. I want what I want when I want it. And focusing on your long-term best interest clarifies a situation so well that it, the decision, the decision may not be easy, it may not be free of conflict, but it points you in the direction that you want to go in in your life. And that's really important. Let's see what Jeff is doing. Uh, Jeff, uh, you called and said uh, you wanted to talk about the relationship, but you also mentioned there's something else uh, bothering you. I go to work and I go to school full time and I try to please everyone. Everybody. Everybody. I oh boy. try to keep a social life. I have friends. I have one friend in particular, his name's, his name's Dave, and you know, we've known each other since we were kids and uh -huh. he practically saved my life at a party a couple couple of years ago and Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. And uh You see quite a connection with this guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty much. And you know, him and the rest of my friends will just come to my house every once in a while with tequila and well, what, what do you mean once in a while what does that mean like once a week once a week around usually wow yeah and you know it, it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me so much if if maybe they they called beforehand see they they just show up at my house because they know I won't, I won't turn them away excuse me you have friends who just show up at your house just like that and yeah. they, they bring alcohol beer and all that stuff yeah. I gotta ask, is alcohol an issue for you? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, it's a little bit awkward. <clears throat> um, uh -huh. My dad was killed uh, a couple years ago. He was drinking in a car. Really? Yeah. And Your dad died? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, that must have been really horrible. It, it, and it is horrible. I mean, he's gone. Right. Yeah. So, needless to say, it's a little bit, a little bit awkward. Uh -huh. It makes me a little bit anxious that I have all my friends you know, in my house drinking, and and a couple couple nights ago, Dave fell asleep on my couch and threw up. What? Yeah, <laughs> Isabel was pissed. Oh my god! Wow. So wow. Um, I should think she'd be very, very, very. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about Dave? I, I mean, this guy is. It seems like he um, can take over your life. Yeah, I I'm gonna have to start saying no. Uh huh. And is that a problem? Yeah, it just, it, it, it makes me anxious. I, I try to avoid conflict whenever I can. You know, I try to I, I've noticed that. I, I've noticed that. And, and uh, with you and Isabella, that as soon as you guys get into, um, you, 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 you back off or escalate and it, it's not working for you. It's not. But Dave is a very specific problem and you're going to have to get into some conflict about saying no to him. Yeah. I want to introduce a concept to you. It's called core needs, and it's something that, I mean, you're, you're obviously advancing your core needs right now. You're in school, you're looking toward the future, Dave is not, right? right. I mean, it sounds like he's got an alcohol problem and a boundary problem, but you, in, in taking care of your core needs, a core need is anything that advances your long-term best interest. So if you use that as a model, you'll realize that saying no to Dave is part of you taking care of yourself. And that, yes, you can maintain a relationship with Dave and a friendship with him, but it's got to have some limits. Could you imagine <laughs> setting up some limits? Yeah, I can definitely try. You can try? Yeah. Well, we need to talk about uh, really the, 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 the essence of taking care of your core needs because I think you, it would really be helpful to you. Okay? Okay. All right? Yeah. You can see the situation with Jeff goes back into history. His father, alcohol, 
his bonds with his best friend, and what, how difficult it is to say no. Saying no to a dear friend or anybody in your life when you're trying to focus on your core needs is not easy. But the difference is engaging in conflict and saying no to some other activity that's not in your long-term best interest helps you because you know that it really is advancing what you want for your future. And it's not just getting caught up in the, the momentary uh, confusion and back and forth in the arguments. It's really focusing on your long-term best interest.